Hello, hi guys, it's Enam here with a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 charger from Aoki. That's a mouthful, isn't it? As ever, links will be down in the description box below if you're after one. Let's see what we actually get out the box here. Now I've bought this to essentially charge up a device a lot faster than what it already does. I've got a LG G5, as you can see here, the battery is dead zero so essentially what i wanted to do was replace the charger i have at work so uh, this is going to be an additional charger if i can even get this out of its packaging here very economical kind to the planet and all of that alki branding on here i hope i'm saying that correctly and out the box what do we get we get some quick product guide register information don't really need that at all do we it's a charger so you get a three pin uk power adapter as you can see along the one side iq branding on the other and you have the usb port along this side now this is meant to charge or at least have 18 watts for this single port usb turbo charging works with snapdragon 820 and as you can see here you've got the input output dc 3.6 6.5 3 amps and 6.5 9 volts at 2 amps 9 volts 12 volts at 1.5 amps feels really good and i gotta admit i do like that orange highlight in the center of it so we'll put that down and we should also get a cable if we throw that out of the way there we go we get some cabling and there we go nothing else out the box just a user manual you might need to reference this but we'll be okay so we've got a standard micro usb to standard usb connector here i won't be actually using this because i'm going to be testing it with my brand new lg g5 and of course this has a usb type c connector as you can see here so i'll be using the cable that came with it so as i mentioned this g5 is completely dead although it must have some juice in it to say it's got zero percent left so i've plugged in the aoki quick charge 3.0 charger and I'm gonna plug in this USB type C connector that came, as I say, with the device. So we'll get this started. Although this wall charger is listed as a Quick Charge 3.0, it's backwards compatible with Quick Charge 2.0 and 1.0. And it doesn't even matter if you don't have a Quick Charge enabled device because it will automatically sense the speed at which you can charge your device. So if you've got a completely standard device with no Quick Charge capabilities at all, that's A-OK. -okay. This charger will still work and automatically charge your device at the correct voltage i'll just stop this right here at two hours 30 minutes and the g5 is 98 percent charged and on top of that this wall charger can charge pretty much any device you've seen me charge this lg g5 using a usb type c connector and it comes out the box with this micro usb connector which it works a-okay with and pretty much anything that has a standard usb connector on the other end this wall charger can charge and you may or you may not be aware that qualcomm's quick charge 3.0 technology is compatible with devices that have the snapdragon 820 chipset so if you know that your handset has got that particular chipset quick charge 3.0 is going to work however if you've got a samsung galaxy s7 or s7 edge which have a snapdragon 820 samsung have limited that device charging capabilities to quick charge 2.0 due to the different markets and different chipsets just to keep it consistent just to make you aware there we have it guys that's been a look at this turbo charger from aoki as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below please like subscribe and tag along on social media at inamka4 thanks for watching have a wicked day and i'll see you next time